Wi-Fi pineapple? Imagine walking into a coffee shop upon opening your laptop and seeing a Wi-Fi network called Free Cafe Wi-Fi. Looks harmless, right? That is exactly how the Wi-Fi pineapple tricks you. This little device creates fake Wi-Fi hotspots that look just like the ones your phone or computer already trusts. Once you connect, the person with the pineapple can watch unencrypted traffic, mess with the websites you try to visit, and even redirect you to fake login pages. The scariest part is that it remembers networks you have connected to before, so it can pretend to be them automatically. Encryption like HTTPS is still your shield, but without it, you are practically handing your internet life to a stranger. For the everyday user, the takeaway is simple. Double-check the exact network name, avoid sensitive actions on public Wi-Fi, and when in doubt, use your phone as a hotspot or a trusted VPN. USB Rubber Ducky The USB Rubber Ducky looks like a boring old flash drive you would toss in a desk drawer. But plug it into a computer, and it reveals its real trick. It pretends to be a keyboard. That means it can type lightning-fast commands directly into the system, faster than any human could. In just seconds, it could open hidden backdoors, change settings, or download malware. The disguise is the clever part. People do not expect a simple USB stick to be dangerous. The only catch is that the attacker needs physical access. Still, in a busy office or an airport lounge, one careless moment is all it takes for the rubber ducky to bite. A practical defense is to use USB port locks, enable device control policies, and never leave machines unlocked in public spaces. Land Turtle The Land Turtle is like a spy that hides in plain sight. It plugs into an Ethernet port and sits quietly on the network. Once connected, it gives remote access to whoever planted it. That person can monitor traffic, inject malicious code, or create secret tunnels into the system. Offices often think their wired networks are safer than Wi-Fi, and the Land Turtle takes advantage of that false sense of security. Picture a maintenance worker plugging it into a port during their shift. Days later, no one notices, but the attacker is already inside. Its main weakness? If someone physically inspects the cables and sees a strange device hanging there, the game is up. Network discovery tools and regular physical audits are low-effort ways to reduce this risk. Flipper Zero The Flipper Zero looks like a toy with its cute little screen, almost like a digital pet from the 90s but do not let the playful design fool you. It is a multi-tool for digital signals, able to copy RFID cards, emulate remote controls, read NFC tags, and mess with some wireless devices. Think of it as a pocket-sized chaos button. A hacker could walk through an office opening doors or unlocking gates, all while looking like they are playing with a toy. The appeal is how easy it is to use. Even beginners can pick it up quickly. Still, it is not magic. Modern encrypted systems can resist it, and it cannot just steal Wi-Fi passwords out of thin air. But its accessibility makes it one of the most talked-about gadgets in recent years. For creators, a short live demo showing its limits makes for a compelling and educational clip. Hack RF1 Hack RF1 takes things into the world of radio frequencies, it is a software-defined radio, meaning it can send and receive signals across a wide spectrum. With it, a hacker can listen to unencrypted communications, replay signals from a car key fob, or even disrupt wireless alarms. Imagine being able to control a drone or intercept pager messages with one device. Its strength is flexibility. It can mimic almost any wireless device, but it has a steep learning curve. You need to understand radio protocols to use it effectively. So, while it is incredibly powerful, it is not plug-and-play for beginners. Always emphasize legal and ethical boundaries, since transmitting on many frequencies can break the law. Ghost USB Cables OMG Cables These cables look exactly like regular charging cables, but inside they are hiding a secret. Known as OMG Cables, they contain tiny implants that can deliver malicious payloads or even transmit data wirelessly. That means if you borrow a charging cable at an airport or find one lying in a meeting room, you could be plugging in a hacker's tool. Once connected, the attacker could gain remote access to your device. 
The brilliance is in the disguise. They look completely ordinary. The limitation is that they are not mass-produced, so they are rare and usually used in targeted attacks. But in the right situation, they are the perfect trap. A good rule of thumb. Carry your own cables and avoid charging on unknown public USB chargers. Key Grabber USB The key grabber is a hardware key logger, and it is almost laughably simple. You put it between a keyboard and a computer, and it records every keystroke. Passwords, emails, even that embarrassing message you typed out and deleted, it all gets saved. The scary part is that it does not need the internet. It just quietly collects information until someone comes back to retrieve it. This makes it perfect for public computers, like in a library or shared workspace, where no one ever checks behind the machine. It struggles against encrypted keyboards or wireless models, but when it works, it works silently and effectively. Quick habits like checking cables before use and using on-screen keyboards for extremely sensitive input can help mitigate the threat. Bash Bunny the Bash Bunny is like a Swiss Army knife in USB form. It looks like a chunky flash drive, but inside it is a tiny Linux computer. Once plugged in, it can pretend to be almost anything. A keyboard, a storage drive, even a network adapter. With that disguise, it can run scripts that steal files, create hidden user accounts, or reroute internet traffic. It is powerful and flexible, making it a favorite among penetration testers. But it is not very subtle. Compared to a regular USB stick, it is larger, and the lights blinking on it can give away the trick. Still, in the hands of someone who knows what they are doing, the Bash Bunny can cause serious damage in seconds. To fight back, organizations can implement endpoint protection that blocks unusual HID behavior and keep automatic execution features disabled. Prox Mark III the Prox Mark III is a tool that focuses on RFID cards, the kind used for office doors, hotel rooms, or parking gates. With this gadget, an attacker can read, clone, and emulate many types of cards. That means walking past someone with a badge in their pocket and secretly copying it. Suddenly, secure doors are not so secure anymore. Its strength is versatility. It works with lots of card systems. The limitation is that modern encrypted smart cards are much harder to copy, but for older systems, the Prox Mark III is practically a skeleton key that fits far too many locks. Upgrading to challenge response systems and auditing access logs will make these attacks far less effective. RFIDler The RFIDler is like the budget version of the Prox Mark. It is cheaper, easier to get, and designed for hobbyists who want to experiment with RFID tags. It can clone simple cards or brute force weak locks, making it a good entry-level tool. Why does it matter? Because RFID is everywhere, from bus passes to gym memberships to office buildings. While it cannot handle the more secure smart cards, it is more than enough to show how vulnerable many everyday systems are. For someone just starting out, it is like dipping a toe into the world of radio hacking. Organizations should consider tokenization, and modern access control systems to reduce the effectiveness of such devices. Signal Jammers Signal Jammers are the blunt instruments of the hacking world. They do not steal your data, they just shut it down. By blocking Wi-Fi, GPS, or cell signals in an area, they can cut off communication completely. Imagine a thief using one to stop a car's wireless alarm from activating, or protesters blocking drone surveillance by jamming its GPS. They are powerful but messy. A jammer affects everyone in range, not just one target, making it obvious something is wrong. Plus, in many countries, they are illegal to own or operate. But when they are used, they can cause instant disruption. If you suspect jamming, move to a different area and report it to authorities. Do not attempt to jam or interfere yourself. Ubertooth 1 Bluetooth feels invisible. We connect our headphones, watches, and speakers without thinking twice. The Ubertooth One is a device that makes that invisible world visible. It is a specialized tool for sniffing and analyzing Bluetooth traffic. With it, an attacker can pick up signals nearby, discover devices, and study how they talk to each other.
It is especially interesting with older or poorly secured devices that do not use strong encryption. Imagine someone sitting in a cafe and watching all the Bluetooth devices around them, like a constellation of signals. It is not the easiest tool to master, but it shows just how much of our everyday life quietly travels through the airwaves. Simple habits like turning off Bluetooth when not in use and keeping device firmware updated reduce exposure. So, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when a new video drops.